In this lecture, we will look at an introduction to the PyCharm code editor. Let's open the PyCharm code editor that we downloaded and installed in the last lecture. If this is the first time that we are downloading and installing PyCharm, we may see a pop-up or two asking about importing settings and setting up preferences. Then we will come to a welcome to PyCharm window. We can click create new project to create a new Python project. We will choose a location for our project. Also, the current name of the project, untitled, is selected. We can type whatever we want the name of our project to be. Once we have done that, we will click the Create button. A tip of the day pop-up will appear, which we can just close out of. There are 11 main menu options at the top of the program. From left to right, there are File, Edit, View, Navigate, Code, Refactor, Run, Tools, VCS, Window, and Help. The file menu allows us to do things like create, open, close, and save files. The edit menu gives us functionality to options like cut, copy, and paste. The view menu allows us to view recent files, as well as the ability to show or hide some of the main bars of the IDE. The navigate menu lets us do things like go to a variable's declaration or implementation. The code menu gives us access to features like code implementation, code folding, and moving code up and down in the editor. The refactor menu lets us safely move, extract, and replace code. The run menu allows us to run our code and provides us access to options like running our code in debug mode, profiling the code, and working with breakpoints. The tools menu allows us to use tools to work within our project. The VCS menu allows us to work with version control systems like Git. We can do things like commit, push, pull, and fetch code directly from within PyCharm. The window menu is useful for working with the layout and arrangement of the windows in the editor. Finally, the help menu lets us search for actions, gives us tips for working in the editor, and allows us to view tutorials and demos. Let's learn how to create a Python file within PyCharm. First, we will select the folder named after our project at the top of the hierarchy on the left side of the editor. Then, we will go to File, New. Let's click Python File. A pop-up will appear asking us to name our file. Once we have named our file and selected the Python file type, we will click OK. The file will be created and we will see it open in our editor. Note that once a file is created, named, and saved, you never have to continue saving the file. PyCharm has an autosave feature, enabled by default, that will automatically save the code after every change. This feature is very handy and helps ensure that you don't lose any work. If we want to log output to the console in PyCharm, we can use Python's print function. For example, we can print hello world to the console as seen here. To run the code we typed, we can right click on the file and select the run option. Alternatively, we can click the play icon in the upper right hand corner of the program. To clear the console of any output, we can click the trash can icon at the lower left of the console. In the next lecture, we will learn how to refer to the Python documentation.